The Tangem Hardware Cold Storage Wallet is one of the easiest and most cost-effective wallets on the market available today. But there is one nagging issue that I just can't quite get over. If you're not already familiar with the Tangem, it is sold as a card, or rather typically a pack of cards, either two or three cards. It works via NFC, and although it is cold storage because it does not have a direct connection to the internet, it's not 100% air-gapped because it does use NFC, which is near-field communication. You'll see how they talk about how it has a smart backup. There's a chip in the card which generates a random private key, which never gets exposed. The card establishes a secure connection with each other and transfer your encrypted private keys between the cards. Keys are stored on three cards with no other copies to be found across space and time. In other words, Tangem staunchly believes that a seed phrase or monomic phrase backup is inherently insecure. And they're not wrong. You know, it's just like when people insist that you have like a 16 or 20 character alphanumeric password and you can't reuse the same password or a similar password for the last you know, six passwords that you've used and you have to change your password every 90 days. And it just it just gets ridiculous. And what that ends up doing is it causes people to write down their password and put it on a piece of paper under their keyboard or they put it in like a spreadsheet or, you know, something like that in a not very secure manner. And the password itself might be very difficult to brute force hack, but all you really have to do is think like a user and poke around, you know, assuming you have access to the user's workspace or possessions. And there's a good chance that you're going to find a password list somewhere. The Tangem card has support for quite a few different cryptos. As you can see on their website, you can scroll through the list. You can search for the coins or tokens that you're most concerned about for your portfolio. No wallet supports every crypto in existence, but a lot of wallets today support support thousands of cryptos. And so there's a good chance that you're going to have the majority of your portfolio supported by one wallet, possibly even your entire portfolio supported by one wallet. So the nagging issue that I have with the Tangem hardware cold storage wallet is the simple fact that they don't allow you to back up your seed phrases or monomic phrases. Again, although that is technically more secure, the problem is now you have to put 100% trust in the NFC cards in the sense that they will never fail, right? So if you order a pack of three cards, then you should treat it as one card is your wallet and the next two cards are your backup, especially for something like crypto. You know, if you have thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars being stored in this wallet, anytime you have anything that's very important, the way you should look at a backup is you take the number of backups you have and you subtract one, and that's how many backups you have. So in the case of a Tangem three pack, it comes with three cards, but you should basically plan on at least one of those two backup cards failing or being lost which means that you have one backup in a manner of speaking. And that is something that just doesn't sit well with me. You know, I don't like the idea of I have one card, I put the other card in a fireproof box and bury it in the backyard. I take the third card and I put it in a bank safe deposit box. Because the thing is, regardless of where you keep your other two cards, I think it's a really good idea that you do a reality check periodically to see, number one, do you still have access? access to your backup cards. Number two, do they still work? Because if there is a problem with quality control, if for any reason your backup cards stop working, well, then you no longer have a backup and it's time to transfer your crypto to another wallet before you lose access to your crypto in the Tangem wallet. Well, as it turns out, Tangem decided to listen to their customers despite Tangem's own very strong beliefs that you should not have seed backup. Well, apparently I'm not the only one that has the concerns that I have because Tangem has decided to revise the Tangem wallet and make it an option to do a seed or monomic phrase backup. One thing that's a little bit odd to me is that the Tangem is a 12 word seed phrase. Now, there are wallets that give you an option of 12, 18, or 24 words. 
24 words is pretty common. 12 words is also pretty common. 18, in my experience, isn't quite so common. But the point is, the more words that make up your private key, the more secure your private key should be. You know, the harder your private key is to, to guess or to brute force because it's more complex, at least in theory. So the fact that the Tangent Wallet only does a 12 word seed phrase, I thought was kind of kind of strange. I would have expected it to be a 24 word phrase, but not really the end of the world. Now, when you go to purchase a Tangent Wallet, you have the choice between the new Tangent Wallet or the Classic Wallet. And if you get the new Tangent Wallet, you can use it like the Classic Wallet, meaning it's still sold in a pack of two or a pack of three, but there's an optional seed phrase backup with the new Tangent Wallet. Unfortunately, there's no firmware update option for these devices, so they couldn't just patch their previous Tangent Wallet that they now refer to as the Classic Wallet. However, with the new wallet, you have an option. You can either use it like the Classic Wallet, meaning you set up all three cards as your wallet and you don't do a seed phrase backup or you get yourself a pack of two or a pack of three cards for the new Tangent Wallet and you can set up one card, do a seed phrase backup and then have two other cards on standby so that if something happens to your first card, you have two others that you can set up later using your seed to recover your wallet to one of the other cards or recover that wallet to some other hardware wallet device for that matter. Personally, I only really use the Tangem Classic Wallet for what I consider to be very high risk, very speculative cryptos that I, for the most part, don't intend to hold particularly long term. And I don't use it as my primary long term HODL wallet for Bitcoin, for example, precisely because it gives me anxiety to think that I have to set up three cards the two of the three cards are backups and I have to periodically verify the integrity of the backups. I really don't like that at all. I much prefer just getting a cipher device storage, something like this, for example, a metal device to back up your monomic phrases or seed phrases or recovery phrases so that when you do need to transfer your, your wallet to another device or another application, you can do so and you don't have to worry about it being backed up on a piece of paper, which obviously can get ruined very easily or the ink can fade or it can end up burning or being waterlogged or just ruined in any number of ways. Something like this is what I prefer. What do you think of this new option being offered by Tangem? Like it? Love it? Don't care? Let us know in the comments below.